Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you the full story of how I got my cat waffles from beginning to end. So if you know me, I have a support rabbit called Honey, and one of the big things that she um, does, or well, used to do, was, um, well I'm most anxious at bedtime, at night time, so she would come and sleep on my bed with me, and help me when I get nightmares, and come and sleep on my chest and things like that. And this didn't just happen with Honey, this happened with all of my rabbits. So Theo got to sleep on my bed, Domino slept on my bed, and then Honey slept on my bed, and they all slept on my bed together, and then Piccolo slept on my bed, and then Midnight and Honey slept on my bed. But they also all trained, toilet trained on my bed because mum wouldn't let them be much elsewhere in the house. So didn't have that much of a choice. We didn't have that much of a choice. And so once mum found out how many mistakes they had made, she said they can't be on the bed anymore. Even though now Honey is toilet trained. And she wouldn't make any more mistakes. And even if she did, I would know how to clean up from it now. But it's too late. Mum's rules, no more rabbits in the bed or in the house at all unless they are on my lap or in the carry cage. So, but mum wanted to compromise. She said that she still loved me. She didn't want me to have nightmares and bad sleep like I do when I don't have rabbits sleeping on my bed. So she said that she'd get me a cat because they are easier toilet trained. Um, but as long as we clean my room first. Um, and so we just cleaned my room and we started looking at rescues. And I knew exactly what sort of cat I wanted. I knew that I wanted one that was relaxed and cuddly and one that would come up and want to sleep on my bed with me. And that was basically the main criteria. And we knew that we didn't want a kitten because we wanted its personality to be developed and always wanted to sleep on the bed. We didn't want it to be a kitten who wanted to sleep on the bed and then got older and then decided that they like this other spot or something. I always knew the temperament of ragdolls. Ragdolls, I know, are calm and gentle and cuddly and have a similar temperament to dogs in the way they follow you around. And every ragdoll that I've met has either been scared or been friends with honey, mainly been scared. So that was also a good thing. I want my cat to get along with my rabbit. So I really wanted a ragdoll, but I mean, I know that it, the looks is not the important thing and that any breed of cat could have the temperament that I'm looking for. So we went to a rescue to see what we found and all the cat people were saying to me, the cat will choose you, you know when, when you find them and I was just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it surely can't be that easy. Um, we went to a... Um, like, I believe in connections, but I wasn't thinking, like, it can't be that easy click. Um, so we went to a rescue and I didn't find any connections. Like, there was one cat there that I liked, but it's just kind of like, well, if we don't find any other ones that click as much, then I guess we'll go back here. So I started looking on Gumtree because I really wanted a rag doll. They just had such good temperament. And there were so many good looking and beautiful ragdolls and everyone described their great temperament. But all the ones that had the best temperaments that I wanted um, were very far away, except for Waffles. And Waffles, when I saw him on Gumtree, I'm like, whoa, he is the one. Uh, but, um, and he was actually not too far away, he was only 30 minutes. So mum was like, I guess we can go and look at this cat but just have a look, but not promising you were taking anything home. And mum was very reluctant to get a rag doll. She didn't want something that had fur and getting everywhere. But then when she saw him, she was like, well, he is the most beautiful cat I've ever seen. And I held him and I played with him and I really liked him. Um, and then without any prompting, he jumped into my carry cage. And I was like, the cat people are right. He just chooses you. Mom, I think he's made his decision. And she's like, well, okay. <laughs> and then 
we took them home. And here's the footage from them. glasses are falling off. There's my good boy Waffles. This is my first night with him and already he's purring. Loves it when I pat him. He's putting his head up. He's like, yeah, keep doing it. <laughs> he's got a semi loaf going on him. Gloves under the neck. I'm so glad he's gonna help me sleep. Yeah, you're gonna sleep with me every night. Yeah. You're gonna be my little teddy bear, huh? 